knew I should have bought the good camera. Ended up at Victoria Point here. And that's Kuchimadlo Island. Changed a little bit since I was last here. First time I ever went to Kuchimadlo Island was um, when I was about 17 with a mate. And uh, well, might be worth checking out again. That explains the helicopter with the firefighting bucket. Stradbroke Island over there still has fires burning. I've been going for about a week now, hence all the smoke last week. It's uh, fairly overcast here today, it's very warm, uh, very smoky actually, more than overcast. So we're going to Coochie Mudlow for lunch. Let's go and wait for the boat. The jetty's a bit flasher than when I was here when I was 17. Freaky also. Here comes our ride. Let me go across there. Yes, a little bit more upmarket than the ferry I went on many years ago. Nice little prep pleasure cruiser.
we simply reverse the process on the other side. And go and get some lunch. Welcome to Coochie Mudlow Island. A oh, nice quiet little spot here on the opposite side of where I started. They've got a little park here now. Certainly wasn't here 35 years ago when I was here. But then back then I walked right around the island, which took all of an hour, so it's not a huge island. And I also saw a half sea turtle, as in bitten in half, and it was a big turtle. And it had this great big radius bite mark, so I thought at the time it was either a um, tiger shark or possibly a great white. There are a lot of tiger sharks in the water here. It's quite historic, it used to be a, well I'll go into it later what it was. Yeah, I can't believe it was 35 years ago that I was here. Boy, it changes. Anyway, that was a little spontaneous thing. Uh, oh, well, time to go back, I suppose. Explorer Matthew Flinders landed on Kuchimadlo Island on the 19th of July 1799 while he was searching for a river in the southern part of Moreton Bay. In May 1825, Moreton Bay convict settlement was established where only hardened criminals and repeat offending prisoners were sent. That's where allegedly tiger sharks were encouraged to take up residency. In fact, it became a breeding ground for tiger sharks. It helped dissuade prisoners from escaping. To this day, they often find specimens up to five metres long. During the mid-19th century, nearby Peel Island was used as a quarantine station for the colony of Brisbane, where after a quarantine period, people were moved on to Dunwich on nearby North Stradbroke Island, which is the one you saw earlier that still has fires burning on it. Peel Island was later used as an asylum for vagrants from Brisbane, and around the start of the 20th century, between 1907 and 1959, the island was used as a leper colony. So you see, Redland Bay has quite a history behind it. Back where we started. And now we're back and it's time to load up the car ferry. Next time. He just made it, that fella. And off he goes over to Kuchimadlo Island, where we just came from. And there goes our mate, back to Kuchimadlo Island. Who's going to win the race? I'll put my money on the smaller one.
anyway if you like that perhaps in the future we'll go across and take the car but uh, frankly it's only like an hour to walk around anyway see you later I know I said recently on my how to vlog series that you should try and avoid dating your videos but there's something going on around here